Hello dear students, today we are going to discuss an important topic of your class that is rational number. So students, so before going to start the rational number, first let us recall our previous knowledge regarding the numbers. Let's start students. Now what is natural numbers? We know that counting, uh, counting numbers are called natural numbers denoted by capital N. All the numbers for the counting we used for the counting are known as the natural numbers. Just like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. This is known as the natural number and it is denoted by the capital N English alphabet capital N. Now students on the number line again representation if, if you want to represent the natural number on the number line. So please see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. The line extends indefinitely uh, to the RHS means right hand side right hand side this is known as the natural numbers all the counting numbers are known as the natural number the next one is whole numbers the whole numbers are the natural numbers together with zero it means when we include zero in natural numbers the numbers known as the whole numbers for example it is denoted by w capital w w is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on on the number line you can see 0, 1, it will start from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now what is integers? An integer is a whole number that can be positive, negative or 0. It can be positive, negative and 0. This is a whole number denoted by capital Z. Now Z is equal to 0. From the left side, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. From the right side, 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. On the number line, you can see it we will start from it 0 0 for the 0 right hand side 1 2 3 4 and the left left forward 0 left forward minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus 4 the line extends indefinitely on the both side means minus infinite to plus infinite students now what is what is a rational number basically students the word you know uh, rational it comes is derived from the word ratio means comparison between two numbers like the rational numbers are those numbers which can be expressed as a ratio between two integers between two integers or a number which can be written in the form p by q p upon q where p and q are integers and q is equal or zero are called rational numbers students p upon q what it means of p by q p by q is just like a fraction now what is fraction? Fraction means numerator upon denominator. The upper term is known as the numerator and down term is known as the denominator. Students, we can see every fraction such as 2 upon 5, 7 upon 9, 1 upon 3 and so on is a, a rational number. Second is student, if p is equal to 2, p is equal to 2, q is equal to 3, minus 3 then we can write p upon q means 2 upon minus 3. This is also a, a rational number. Now p is equal to 0, Mr. you have to know p is equal to 0 and q is equal to 1 and it's 0. Means 0 is also a rational number. Now there are some important points you can see students. 0 is the additive identity for rational number. What is the means of additive identity? 0 is the additive identity for the rational number. It means if we add 0 in any rational number, it will give that it was. It will give that it was. This means if we add 0 in 2 by 3, 2 by 3, what is 2 by 3? 2 by 3 is a rational number because it can be expressed as in the form of p upon q and p and q both are integers and q is equal to 0. That is 2 by 3. Minus 1 by 2 plus 0 is equal to minus. This process is known as the additive identity. The second one is 1 is the multiplicative identity for the rational number. Just like 3 upon 5 into 1. If you multiply 1 with any rational number, it will give itself. It will give itself at it was. Means 3 upon 5 into 1, 3 upon 5, 1 upon 3 into 1. There are no chain. It will give 1 upon 3. I hope it's clear. So the next one, you can see. The next point. The additive inverse of A upon B is equal to minus A upon B. The additive, additive inverse of A upon B is equal to minus A upon B. What it means? Means if there are two numbers equal but with opposite signs 
means if we add two numbers and it will give zero then known as the first number is the additive inverse of the second number let's see 2 and minus 2 if we we'll, if we will add both the numbers 2 plus minus 2 it will give zero that means we can say 2 is the additive inverse of minus 2 otherwise minus 2 is the additive inverse of 2 i hope it's clear the next one 3.5 now what is what its additive inverse now it is its additive inverse is equal to minus 3.5 that means if we add both numbers it will give zero so this funda is known as the additive inverse now representation of the rational number on the number line students you can see a rational number is uh, can be expressed as in the form of p upon q 0 also a rational number 0 by 1 1 by 2 1 and so on to the left side minus 1 by 2 minus 1 and so on i hope it's clear students now there are some problems Give four rational numbers equivalent to minus 2 upon 7. Give four rational numbers equivalent to minus 2 upon 7. Means minus 2 upon 7 equal four rational numbers. So, let's see. If we multiply any numbers with its denominator and numerator, then there are no chain and that number. If we multiply any same number, with its denominator and its numerator then the fraction or the rational number or the numbers cannot be changed means minus 2 upon 7 we can write multiply by 2 with both numerator as well as denominator now 2 to the 4 and 7 to the 14 so you can see this is minus 2 upon 7 nothing else minus 4 upon 14 you can solve it 2 to the 4 to 7 the 40 it will become minus 2 upon 7 but equal to the same as it is rational number as same we can multiply with 3 with the numerator and numerator it will give 6 upon uh, 21 minus 6 upon 21 you can also cut it to 3 to 6 uh, sorry 3 to the 6 and 3 7 to 21 it will give given minus 2 upon 7 like 4 multiply with 4 numerator as well as denominator it will give minus 8 upon 28 uh, multiply with 5 both numerator and numerator it will give it to 5 to 10 and 7 5 to 35 i hope it's clear give four rational numbers equivalent give all the numbers are equivalent to minus 2 upon 7 because when we solve this that we will try to give in simplest form this will always give to minus 2 upon 7 so this is the simplest form i hope it's clear so students there are some problems to you for the verse minus 3 upon 5 give the 5 rational number give the 5 rational number equivalent to minus 3 upon 5 this is your first question you have to give 5 rational number equivalent of this first you can multiply with 2 by 2 then 3 by 3 then 4 by 4 4 then 5 by 5 and so on 1 by 2 second question 1 by 2 third 5 upon minus 3 and 4 2 upon 3 and fifth 4 upon 9 hello students today we are going to proceed rational number further now what is this this is the, the important topic representation of rational number on the number line representation of rational numbers on the number line now what is this students before we will see we will have to learn the representation of rational number on the number line we have to know what is proper fraction and improper fraction basically students there are three by four j rational number now what is proper fraction students when numerator of any fraction is less than its denominator then it is known as the the given fraction is proper fraction when the numerator of any fraction any rational number is less than its denominator then it is known as the proper fraction numerator is less than its denominator and for the number line such type of proper fraction uh, for the proper fraction this will lie between 0 and 1 you have to remember always this will lie between 0 and 1 now what is rational number 3 by 4 we have to represent it on a number line so as you can see 3 by 4 it will we know that this is a proper fraction because 3 is its numerator 3 is less than its denominator 4 means its denominator is greater than its numerator now this is a proper fraction and proper fraction always lie between 0 and 1 student so, we will start from 0 and there is there is let's there is one there is one student there is one now student there is three by four there is three by four then you can write one you can write one is it like to one upon one means 
what is its denominator you can multiply with both side as well as numerator and denominator with 4 it will be given 4 by 4 this is nothing 4 1 4 it is 1 but you can write as in the form of 4 upon 4 this means 1 you can write 1 as in the form of 4 by 4 as in the form of 4 by 4 should now you can see 3 by 4 4 by 4 should be okay should be up 0 by 4 this is 0 by 4 now what is what is 1 by 4 this is 2 by 4 and this is 3 by 4 and 4 by 4 this is the representation this is the representation of 3 by 4 this is 3 by 4 here lie 3 by 4 0 by 4, 1 by 4, 2 by 4, 3 by 4 and 4 by 4. This is 1, 0 and 1. It is lie between 0 and 1. This is 3 by, this is 3 by 4. So you can see next question. Minus 5 upon 8. Minus 5 upon 8. Student, you can see, forget negative sign. You only see 5 and 8. There is, student, 5 is less than 8. Means its numerator is less than its denominator. This is called proper fraction and proper fraction always lie between 0 and 1 now if this is for minus 1 it will lie between 0 and minus 1 student you know on the number line this is 0 this is the place of 0 this is 1 from the right side and from for the left side of the 0 it will give you minus 1 now student we have to represent minus 5 by 8 now student we can write 1 is equal to 1 into 8 upon 1 into 8 this is 8 by 8. This is nothing. 8 1 is 8. 1. For the negative sign, minus 8 by 8. Student. You can write here minus 8 by 8. And here 0 by 8. 0 by 8 nothing. It's 0. Means we will go for the left side. It means for the left side. It means 0 by 8. 0 by 8. Student. 0 by 8. Students. 1 by 8 minus minus 2 by 8 minus 3 by 8 minus 4 by 8 minus 5 by 8 minus 6 by 8 minus 7 by 8 and this is minus 8 by 8 so the representation of minus 4, 5 by 8 is there minus 5 by 8 is there you can represent minus 5 by 8 there between 0 and minus 1. I hope it's clear. Should the next one is next is minus 7 by 4. Minus 7 by 4. Should you can see here 7 is greater than 4. Means its numerator is greater than denominator. It means this such type of fraction, these types of fraction is known as the improper fraction, and for the improper fraction, it's Presentation, it's the representation of the number line lie between always minus 1 and what's the number. Now, student, what we can do? If such type of question, when numerator is greater than numerator, then we will divide 7 by 4. 4 1 of 4, it will come 3. Now, we can write it 1 right, 1 right, 3 by 4. 4 1 of 4, three, 7 by 4. And for the negative sign, we will write minus 1 right, 3 by 4. It means this will become minus 1 more than minus 1 more than means minus 1 to upward side minus 1 then it will lie between minus 1 and minus 2 it will lie between minus and 1 and minus 2 now student we can write on the number line 0 left side for minus 1 minus 2 students we have to take minus 3 by 4 minus 3 by 4 minus 1 to upward minus 3 by 4 but here we have to find we have to uh, represent minus 7 by 4 on the number line the student we can write minus 1 you can write minus 1 is equal to minus 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 1 and we have to uh, take its denominator means multiply with 4 and 4 its numerator as well as its denominator it will given minus 4 by 4 you can write minus 1 as in the form of minus 4 upon 4 and you can you can write minus 2 as in the form of minus 8 upon 4 student you can see 4 to 8 now you can represent minus 4 by 4 this is minus 5 by 4 this is minus 6 by 4 this is minus 7 by 4 and this is minus 8 by 4 so this is the representation 7 by 4 
this is the representation of minus 7 by 4 minus 4 by 4 minus 5 by 4 minus 6 by 4 minus 7 by 4 and minus 8 by 4 I hope it's clear students so the next one is 7 by 8 student now 7 is less than 8 it means this is a proper fraction and this will lie between from 0 and 1 student we will start from 0 7 by 8 7 by 8 students 7 by 8 student you can write from 0 it 0 by 8 you can write 0 0 by 8 now 7 by 8 student 0 by 8 this will become 1 by 8 2 by 8 3 by 8 4 by 8 5 by 8 6 by 8 7 by 8 students 7 by 8 and here 8 by 8 this is 1 this is 1 it will become 0 to 1 it will become it will it will lie between 0 and 1 this is 0 by 8 this is 8 by 8 it will lie with, between 0 and 1 this is the position of 7 by 8 this is the position of 7 by 8 student I hope it's clear so student there are some problems for your work question uh, represent on the number line the given rational numbers first choose represent 4 by 5 on the number line represent minus 3 by 5 on the number line represent 7 by 3 on the number line represent minus 4 upon 3 on the number line represent 9 upon 5 on the number line and represent 3 by 8 on the number line thank you so much